Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the PCFX GA card. It's an accelerator board for an IBM PC. This unit seems to have been created around the same sort of time as the uh, actual PCFX games console. That was a 32-bit games console developed by NEC and Hudson Soft. This is obviously the box that the PCFX GA came in. Uh, the PCFX was released in 1994 and pretty much discontinued in 98 so it didn't have a particularly long lifespan and it's based on the NEC V810 CPU and CD-ROM so this is the main board that's going to go in the PC this is the PC that we're going to be putting it into so let's uh, get on with it and get the card into the PC just slots into a standard ISA socket nothing special about that so uh, this PC's got a sound blaster, full size sound blaster card. It doesn't have a video output this card. Um, it's a weird card this because it's not a pass through like the 3DFX or any of the other cards, that sort of thing. This card just sits in the system and leeches on the system's power and resources. And you know, it doesn't really use a lot of CPU um, power. It, it, it basically does everything itself. It's just basically like having a console in the machine because um, all of the uh, you know the ancillaries and everything talk directly to the card. Um, there's no pass through for the video so you do need another you do need the standard output VGA we'll come to that in a minute but this is the little extension board weird little extension board thing that houses the uh, game controllers and the video outputs it's got S video composite left and right or in and out audio uh, top card there's a sound blaster and obviously then there's the PC FX card underneath uh, running compact flash on this so we don't uh, try and speed it up this is the um, one of the games that's bundled with the uh, card itself. Nice little game there. I'll have a bit more of that later. Uh, another, pretty much a demo disc. This one. It's got a lot of demos on it. A lot of little things that we'll show some video about this a bit later on when we get the machine up and running. Uh, this one's obviously just a floppy drive install disc for, for the DOS V side of it. Um, I've got a couple of games. Um, that I've had for uh, quite a few years actually. This, these games were bought not for this machine but for my um, standard PCFX. So we'll do a bit of video footage and talk about these a bit later on but uh, let's basically uh, just have a quick goosey at these and then move on to uh, getting the machine up and running. Nicely how they box these games. You've got the sponge inlay holding the manual down nice. You've got the disc nicely housed. So quite a bit of money spent on these uh, game boxes. So it was quite a nice touch, which helped preserve them. Really, they're both uh, both in excellent condition, basically because of the the containers that uh, they came in. So uh, all of these games are a bit uh, they're a bit of a niche market. These games, I think, when you actually see the footage later on, that um, they went for a particular style with this machine. Um, it wasn't like any other game machine that I, I really know of. They went for it was very heavily full motion video and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a very difficult machine to love. Um, you know, I've tried to give it uh, tried to give it some time, but um, it's a weird one. Tell me, let me know what you think. You know, it's um, it's probably not for everybody, but uh, you know, it's uh, we'll wait and see. Okay, so this is the console version of this machine. A uh, little memory card, that's where you uh, store some of your backups for your uh, saves and stuff like that. So a nice little uh, extension port there on the front for that. A couple of game connections at the front and a power switch. So, you know, not complicated at all. Okay, around the back there's room for another extension. A lot of things, a lot of these uh, Japanese consoles uh, like doing these extensions and stuff like that. Same console, uh, same video output, sorry, as the the car, the S-Video composite, stuff like that. And a CD drawer on the top. So, nice little compact unit. Uh, obviously went for the PC look, obviously, with the name. Okay, so let's got the system up and running. Let's have a look at some of the games. This one's a bit of a fighting demo. I think it's more of a tech demo than anything really worthy of anything to be released. Um, well, I got. I hope so. Anyway, uh, it's difficult to um, know the full extent of this game because obviously a lot of it comes up, the text comes up in Japanese. So, you know, I think this is really just a tech demo, just to show that it was capable of doing something. Um, you know, this is this is housed on one of those um, demo CDs. So, uh, nothing particularly exciting. Just uh, interesting to see what they were trying to do. Um, like I was saying, a lot of these games are, f are full motion video based and tended to rely more on animation rather than action. Um, the console was considered a, a commercial failure. 
Um, but you know, it was still a powerful machine. Um, but they relied too much on video footage and stuff like that. It didn't have a lot in the gameplay department. Um, I believe, um, if memory serves me well, I believe there was about 62 games um, in total on the actual system. Team Innocent really is a um, adventure game with uh, some action elements. Uh, you know, you've got three missions. Uh, and the player controls a, a Saki uh, most of the time, but other girls become available as you go through the game and become playable, if you know what I mean. So, uh, you know, quite a boring game, really, in my, re my regard. But, you know, like you say, there's, there's games for everybody out there. So, uh, you know, not my cup of tea, but there you go. Okay, the next one's up Battle Heat. Um, Battle Heat is a bit different. Um, it is a fighting game, but it's a fighting game done based on like a movie. It's it's fully animated, so it's it's almost like movie sequences. Uh, and you press the buttons, and the, obviously the player reacts to your button presses. Very different, but common to this genre and this this system, um, which which I think ultimately made it unpopular. So uh, anyway, that's a, a quick look at the PCFX GA and PCFX. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to leave. Um, some video running after this intro is finished um, because there was a lot more stuff demoing on the end of this uh, so I hope you uh, got the time just to look at it because it is quite funny the next bits so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye for now